is Elimu Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, Commercial Arithmetic 1. And for this particular lesson, we'll be covering currency exchange rates. So we want to see what uh, currency is. I mean, uh, what currency exchange rate is all about. And uh, we have a few questions to help us with illustrations on how we solve problems involving currency exchange rates. Yeah. So at the end of the lesson, we'll be having some assignment just to help you practice and just to help you check on your understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson. So uh, what we call currency exchange rate is that when you want to uh, do business in another country other than Kenya, then you cannot use the Kenyan money. And therefore, it would be important that you change that the, the Kenyan money to some other currency that is used in some other country. Now, different countries have uh, different, uh, their currencies have different values relative to Kenya. You, 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 you have maybe currency in another country, maybe one unit having more units of, 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 of Kenyan money. So, like would say possibly something like maybe a dollar, one particular dollar goes for how many Kenya shillings, for example, you know, or for example, a euro, one euro is equivalent to how many Kenya shillings, you know. So this is what we call exchange rates, you know, when you want to get another currency, you possibly walk into uh something like a bank for example and then you will give them the kenyan money and they will give you the, the other currency that is used in another country that possibly you need to use so what 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 is the rate for example you give about a hundred kenya shillings how many dollars do you get for example you know that's what you're calling the exchange rates so these rates are not fixed you know they 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 keep changing, you know, depending on and a few factors that possibly we'll be discussing in some other 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 contexts. Now, there are two things that happens. There is buying and selling. So the bank can either sell to you the foreign currencies, or they can either buy from you the foreign currency. So if you have the foreign currencies, like those currencies that are used in other countries, then the bank will have to buy them from you. Maybe you, you have just landed in Kenya from another country, like, for example, you, you, United States, and you are just landing in Kenya, you know. The bank will sell you the, I mean, they will uh, buy from you the foreign currencies that you are landing with in Kenya. Now, you could be leaving Kenya to another country, and you possibly need to do business in, in that other country, meaning you, you won't be able to use the 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 Kenyan currencies in that other particular country. So in the process, you'll have to walk into the bank. They will be able to, to sell for you or, or, or sell to you, the, sell to you the, the, for the foreign currency. So you'll give them the Kenyan money and they will be able to give you the foreign currency. So in the process, they sell to you. So it's the bank that deals in this business. You don't talk of you buying the foreign currencies from the bank, no. You say in that case the, 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 the you give them the Kenyan money and then they will uh, give you the foreign currency. So we say the bank sells to you the, the foreign currency. Therefore, so we, we, we have two columns that you'll be using. So this is going to help us with if you get these two columns, which one are you supposed to use? Do you need to use the selling column or the buying column? See, this will really help you with that. So as you can see, we have one US dollar going for 78.4133 buying and selling at 78.474. This, 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 this was at a particular time when this document was being published. Uh, possibly the values are different. Maybe you, 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 walk, you walked into a bank today and you see this displayed on the screens. You would possibly be interacting with different values, you know, as, as you watch this video today. So this was at, at the time this, this, this document was being published, you know. So as at the time, so this, this uh, 
uh, it's just a sample table, you know, just a sample. But basically what you need to appreciate is that the bank deals in this business to make profit. So if you look at the selling price of these foreign currencies, slightly higher than the buying price, you see, buying at 78.41 and selling at 78.47. So you can see a difference of point zero three and some other units thereafter, you see. So the bank deals in the business and therefore they should be doing the business with the intention of making some profit in the process. So you expect all the time you're interacting with this, the selling value should always be higher, you know, relative to the buying value of one particular dollar. So you can see again what I was talking about, what I've talked about in the previous case, about the rate. So talk about the rate, a dollar, you know, we are in this case, we'll be talking about 78, or this dollar, a dollar was buying at, as at this particular time, a dollar was buying at 78.4133 uh, shillings per dollar, you know. That's what you're talking about, the rate. So now I, I believe you know the difference of when to use the buying column and when to use the selling column. So again, I, I repeat, it, it is the bank that deals in the business. So it, they either buy these foreign currencies from you if you have them and you want to get Kenyan money, maybe you just landed in the country from another country, you know, they will have to sell the foreign currencies to you if you have the dollars. But if you need the the foreign currency, for example, the US dollars, they sell them to you. You know, you need them, they sell them to you. If you want them, they I mean you have them. <clears throat> so if you have them, they will buy them from you. Okay? They buy the foreign currencies from you. So that is in a case whereby you have them. For example, somebody just landed in Kenya with 300, 305 US dollars and they walk into the bank, they want to do the exchange. The bank will be buying these foreign currencies from this particular individual. So a good example is convert US dollars to, you know, this is a case where somebody is from uh, uh, United States of America and they're, they're coming in with dollars. So they need to do business in Kenya. They will have to convert this money to Kenya shillings. So which column will they supposed to use? So that's why you have to appreciate that when you have the dollars, the bank buys uh, the dollars from you. So they will give you the Kenyan money. See, they are buying them from you. So we use the buying column. So let's see. So one US dollar So one US dollar is equivalent to seventy eight point four one three three, you know. How about the three zero five dollars? What will they be equivalent to? So we have three hundred and five. You multiply by 78.4133 over 1. And what you'll be able to get, so we have uh, 305 times 78 78.41, 78.4133. So what you get is 23,000. So these are now Kenya shillings. This is the amount of money that you'll receive in Kenya shillings. So you have 23,916.06. So this is the equivalent amount in Kenya shillings. That is what you'll receive if you had these dollars. Now, there is this other question here. During, you can see we still have buying and selling column. So, during a certain month, the exchange rates in a bank 
were as follows, just as I indicated, indicated in the previous case, that these rates, they are not fixed. They keep fluctuating depending on certain factors that you'll be discussing possibly later on. You know. So this was published as at this particular time when the exchange rates were as follows, as displayed on the screen. So a tourist left Kenya to the United States with a, a million Kenya shillings while at the airport, the tourist exchanged all the money to dollars and spent $990 on, on air ticket. So you see, again, while in the US, he spent 450 I mean, $4,500 for a trip and proceeded to Europe. So we want to see how much money he arrived with in Europe. So we'll, we'll need to get the total expenditure. We convert it back to Kenya shillings. You see? And then we subtract from a million to get the amount of money remaining in Kenya shillings, and then we convert it back to Europe. Okay? So that is how we, we're going to do it. So total expenditure. So total expenditure we have one hundred and ninety dollars plus four four thousand five hundred dollars. So this will translate into So $4,500 plus $190, you get $4,690, so $4,690, okay? So we need to subtract this, we change this to, to, we need to change that to Kenya shillings first, and then we will subtract from $1 million. So $1 goes for... So converting the dollars, you know, if you have the dollars and you have to convert them to Kenyan money, the bank will buy the dollars from you. Remember the bank trades in that business. So the bank will buy these dollars from, from you now. So we use the buying column, you know. So one US dollar goes for 91.65. Kenya shillings. So what about the four thousand six hundred and ninety dollars? You know. So again, this is going to be four thousand six hundred and ninety. If you multiply by ninety one point six five, you divide by one. So go times ninety one point six five. And so you have 429,000. So this is going to be Kenya shillings. 429,838.5. So 0 0.50 Kenya shillings. So this is what you need to con uh, subtract from 1 million so that you get to know the, the, the remaining amount in Kenya shillings. So we have 1 million. We subtract four hundred and twenty nine thousand eight hundred and thirty eight point five zero. What do we get in Kenya shillings? So we have one million we'll 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 get what remains now is in Kenya shillings is five hundred and seventy thousand. 570,161.50 again. So this is what is remaining. Now we want to convert this back to euros because now uh, after all this expenditure, this, 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 this person proceeded to Europe, you know? So how many euros did he arrive with in Europe? So we want to convert this is what remains after they have spent all that they did. So let's convert this back. So again, one euro goes for. So when you are converting the Kenya shillings back to euros, it's like now you're saying now you have the Kenyan money, 
you need to convert them back to to, to euros so the, the bank will sell the euros to you so we use the selling column so we're going to use this column here so we have this is uh, 103.93 Kenya shillings so what about 570 161.50 so again cross multiplication so we'll have 570 uh, 1161.50 times 1 and then you divide by 103.93 so what do you get? So this is going to be so you divide by 103.93 and uh, we'll end up with 5,486.01 uh, so 0 0.01 euros. So that is how you go about it. So 5,486.01 euros. That is what this person finally ends up with in euros. So you can attempt question number three together with assignment just to help you practice, you know, on what you have discussed all through, you know, what you have you have discussed during this lesson. Because we have two more assignments just to help you gauge on your understanding of the concept. You can try and go through it. Possibly when done, you can always be posting feedback on the comment section on uh, your understanding of whether when, when to use the buying column and when to use the, the, the selling column. And possibly if you have any other question related to the same, you can always equally post on the comment section. We'll look at it and you'll be able to give feedback in the due course. Otherwise, that is all for now. Till next time, goodbye.